Lady J, G.I. Joe Classified. In the front window, there's the side art, looks great. There's that same poster on the back. Number 25. Same on the top. Mornings at the bottom. Alright, here's Lady J. Looks fantastic. You can already tell the articulation is going to be really good. The likeness is really good. This is this is going to be a great figure. Comes with a lot of accessories. So first off, regular hair and hat. She comes with spear gun, two spear poles, a spear point, spear point, and then like an explosive tip knife which is holstered on her person and the backpack which has slots for the spear tips in there and place for the extra spear pole there and this little it's supposed to be like a GoPro type camera thing I believe okay so the knife it's holstered there Spear gun in her hand. For this, fit the explosive tip bolt there. Regular tip there. And there we go. The only thing can't fit on her person is the extra hair piece, whichever one you don't have on her. Alright, now let's go over articulation. Head of course goes all the way around, the neck also spins. Alright, if the neck is spun right, you should get about that much bend forward. And a lot of bend back too, you just have to avoid the collar. Decent side to side, but again, if you spin that neck, you could get it even further over. Shoulder goes up 54. Of course, it goes all the way around as well. And there is butterfly joint in there. Swivel at the bicep. Double jointed elbow. Basically goes all the way back. wrist goes all the way around. Of course there's a rocker on there as well. Not a whole lot of forward app crunch. A bit more backwards. Of course it spins. And... Right. That goes up. Not far. out that far. So, so a swivel at the thigh. Double jointed knee. You can get most of the way back. Another swivel at the shin, at the boot. And then a normal rocker at the foot. So yeah, like all the G.I. Joe classified, she has really good articulation, looks great as well. They've dialed back those gold colors a lot, which a lot of people have complained about on the early figures, and it's just all around great figure. I'm loving the G.I. Joe classified line, I just wish we had more of them that were available, not just exclusive at Target. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this figure. Do you want it? Do you have it? Do you hate it? Let me know. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.